Hi, this is Melissa with Wilhoit Training. Thanks for joining me for Doc Management, a look at applicant packets for new move-ins in one site. Once you have your completed application along with verifications and the necessary affidavits, you'll need to submit everything to compliance through Doc Management in one site. This should be done within 48 hours of the application date. To do this, we first need to find our applicant. Search for your applicant and click View next to their name. Select the Docs tab. Find the applicant's name and click on it. This will open up a folder titled Packets. Click there. For this exercise, we'll click on the application packet for new move-ins. The header will describe the name of the packet, the packet status, the unit number, the lease status, the process, the name, the leasing consultant, the lease dates, and the tax credit date. This date will be pulled from the tenant income certification or TIC if it has been created. Below the header, you'll find five blue buttons to describe five different actions within this packet. Below the buttons will be the contents of the packet. The packet will have a placeholder one, for application, placeholder 2 to house verifications and affidavits, placeholder 3 for the photo ID, social security card, and screening. The placeholder 4 is the processing control sheet. I'm referring to it as placeholder 4, but it's really a document that can be created within this packet. To do so, we'll need to go up to the first button that says Generate Forms. It will open up the Generate and File Documents box. The Processing Control Sheet is pre-selected. Click Generate. Now you can see the View link to the left of this item. You can also see under the Notes column the note that says PDF Form Generated. Let's click on View to view this item. This is an example of a processing control sheet. Each processing control sheet is unique to meet the specific needs of the property. In this example, the property name is Baxter Lofts. The dash after the property name indicates what paperwork needs to be completed before sending to compliance. If your processing control sheet indicates compliance, that means your property is considered a special asset. Compliance will handle calculations and even create the tenant income certification. You will need to get them all of the required information to do this. Complete the processing control sheet, then you will need to print your processing control sheet and close. Once you have collected and completed all of the required documents, you will need to create four scans, the application, the verifications and affidavits, social security card with approved criminal screening and social security card, and your completed processing control sheet. To attach them into your packet, let's look under the placeholder one. To the left, click on the more link and attach document. The mode should remain attach. The document, select finalize. Browse to your scan folder. Highlight the item and select open to attach it. The packet this item will be included on is pre-selected. Go ahead and select attach. You may not see any notes immediately. Go ahead and click refresh. Now, you can see in the notes column 
a note that says document has been uploaded successfully. It is ready to view. The final column has a green check mark. There is a date under attached. And to the far left, there is a view link. Go ahead and attach the next two placeholders. For the fourth item, as you notice, under the notes column, it says the PDF form generated. This version of the form is not completed, and this time we'll select Add New Revision. I'm going to click Refresh again, and now notice that all four of my items say it has uploaded successfully. However, in the final column, the processing control sheet still shows a red X because I did not select the final box when attaching. That's no problem. I can do that here. So I'll go to the left and select the box, click More, and change status to Final. Once all four of my items are attached and in a final status, I can click Submit. Now notice the packet status has changed to Submitted in my header. All that's left to do is to create a case and case manager to notify compliance the packet is ready and available for their review. Well, that's it for doc management and applicant packets. Thanks for listening.